Beth Novak, chair of the ICANN Multi-Stakeholder Innovation Strategy Panel. Mouthful. <laughs> Beth, what's the purpose of your panel? So the purpose of our panel is exactly what it sounds like. It's a long title, but it's meant to convey the fact that we are here to bring some outside input and expertise and passion and enthusiasm to thinking about how to evolve the model by which ICANN governs itself. So ICANN was an experiment that started 15 years ago, a really tremendous experiment from which the whole world can learn, which is how to govern an organization, a global organization that has responsibility for managing an important public resource from the bottom up, not by governments alone, but by all stakeholders, by all of us having a right and opportunity to be involved. But a lot has happened over 15 years in terms of new technologies that could help us achieve this purpose better and more effectively even than we do today. So our goal is to really think about what it might mean to keep the values and the goals of multi-stakeholder governance, but to do it better and to do it more effectively that achieves those values even more than we do now. Beth, you use the word outside input. What do you mean? Well, the members of this panel are people who are independent of the ICANN staff, independent of the ICANN board. I was asked by the CEO of ICANN to put together a group that would be knowledgeable about ICANN and have background in ICANN, but also bring new insights to bear. So the folks who have graciously agreed to serve, such as Joey Ito, who is the head of the MIT Media Lab, or Jeff Mulgan from London, who is the head of the UK's innovation institute called Nesta, or Bitange Ndemo, the former Minister of Information and Communications in Kenya, all people who know a lot about ICANN, but who also know a lot about innovations and governance, about the new ways that organizations, governments, and other kinds of NGOs around the world are thinking about how to use technology to govern themselves better and more effectively to the end of making better decisions and solving problems. So we are expressly charged with being a group that is separate from the existing internal process of strategic review and many other internal processes that ICANN is running to try to examine how it works and to do so better. We're meant to bring a little outside DNA to bear to work with and talk with the community and learn from the community uh, and bring some of that if you will, other ideas and other know-how that comes from places outside of ICANN, whether it's in my case, the White House in the United States, whether in Jeff, who's worked for multiple prime ministers in the UK, Bitange again, who's been in government in Kenya, but people who've been thinking about how to bring innovation to how we govern, that we might bring that to bear in how we run this panel. And what's your end output? So for us, the end output, to be very clear, we are not ICANN, and we can't make decisions for ICANN. But the best that we can do is to propose very concrete things that ICANN can do for evolving this multi-stakeholder model. So for me, it's very important that we not simply talk in vague pronouncements or principles about being better, but to give ICANN really concrete ways forward. Those might be pilot projects that could be undertaken, new technological platforms that could be adopted, legal innovations or structural innovations, but very concrete is our goal, and to come to the end of this with a list of things that ICANN can do and try that we will recommend and hope that ICANN and its staff and its board take seriously to implement in an effort to experiment with really bringing this model of multi-stakeholder governance into the 21st century. And how will you facilitate community input into the process? So that's really central to what we do. Facilitating community input and being open about how we work is really central. Look, this panel is seven people, seven very smart people, and seven people who have tremendous wealth of experience and insight. But seven people, even with the kind of diversity and experience that they bring, I think we have somebody from every continent represented, doesn't have a monopoly on all the best ideas for what ICANN should do next. So we have from the get-go set up a, an engagement process, a three-stage process that we're setting up. The first of which is to take broad input using a brainstorming site that we've set up and will launch here in Buenos Aires uh, to really just get the best ideas that we can find, whether they're, again, about a technological platform, a process innovation, a structural innovation, a legal innovation. We want to get the best ideas from the ICANN community, from the global governance community, from the world writ large about the better ways for ICANN to manage the multi-stakeholder process. But getting a lot of quick ideas from people really doesn't translate into something that ICANN can implement. So we have a second stage in mind to really bucket the many ideas we expect to get into a series of proposals on which we'll then take comment, get input, ask people to help us refine them again from ideas 
into something that's implementable. And as a third stage, we'll post the recommendations and those specific suggestions of the panel on a wiki and invite people to help us draft and redraft and edit them so that what we hand off hopefully brings to bear the input of a large number of people. We're not going to depend, though, on just throwing up something on the web and hoping that everyone will find us. We have an active process of going out, uh, both beginning here in Buenos Aires and in subsequent meetings, calls, interviews. We're going to do as much outreach as we can and invite people to please contact us to share their ideas through these forums. We will ask people, though, even when we talk to them, to please contribute online so that everybody can see what people are proposing, because those ideas are only going to get better when people comment on them and when there's a process of deliberation that, again, helps take things from principle, if you will, into implementable proposal. Great. Beth, thank you very much. Thank you.